So we're going to put borders on our bar chart columns today. This was part of the February 2024 updates for Power BI. And you might be saying to yourself, but Christine, this is just a toggle. Like you just turned it on, right? Uh, and that's true, but it took me longer than I'm willing to admit to figure out how to do the color matching on it where um, it's not a specific set color. So I thought it was worth a super quick tutorial. So to start off with, I have a visual here that is just a plain bar chart. And if I wanted to add borders to this, I would go to the format your visual tab here and then go to the columns section and turn on this border toggle. And in here, you can set the width if you want to, so you can make it a little bit thicker. And this border on a plain bar chart without the stacked columns is good for accessibility reasons. So it is um, easier to differentiate where the edges of the bar are for someone who is visually impaired. So if we want to add in then a legend to get the multiple colors, I'm going to drop in back over here the subcategory, and this is going to look really funny when I first drop it. The borders, if I come back here, what this hide inner border does is it toggles whether or not you can see the dividers between the different color sections. So I can turn that on and they'll disappear or back off. To get the column matching, what you do is you toggle this on and then you set the transparency of the bars, okay? And the thing is, is that this transparency isn't the one you want. So this is where I started. I was thinking like, oh, you just, you know, reduce the transparency of the borders. It doesn't seem to do anything when I adjust it. I don't know if it's me or what, but... Um, what you want is this bar color transparency up here. So if I adjust this, then you start to see the difference between the two colors. And I can make the width of this a little bit stronger so that you can see the lines better. So color choice wise, I feel like this would be a great way to um, highlight a specific color. So if you did shades of gray and then say like orange or some color that pops for contrast, that would look really nice. Um, but you could also do like a gradient of colors. That would be kind of cool. Um, but trying to follow visual best practices of having your colors be meaningful would be a good idea. And one thing I do notice is that the um, the legend colors don't change along with that bar transparency color change, which gets kind of awkward when you have a really high transparency uh, because it just always matches the border color instead of the color of your bar, which isn't necessarily what you would expect. So if you're thinking to yourself, oh, bar borders are cool. What if we had conditionally colored bar borders? That was kind of the first place my mind went when I saw this. So um, if you wanted to say highlight the outline of a particular bar and say, um, you know, this one is important for some reason, make a line around it in red. Apparently that is on the roadmap. So they're planning on adding conditional coloring for the borders along the line. I don't know when it is exactly, but it's on the roadmap. So keep an eye out for that. And that is everything today. So thank you for watching and have a great day.